Have you ever had a passenger you wished you could get rid of? Just open up that door and throw them right out of there? Well, now you can with the new Skydivers feature of the Adventure Pack expansion pack for the Thranda PC6 Turbo Porter. What? Why, yes. Yes, I have. Hey, everyone. This is Nojo from Thranda Design. We are, indeed, taking a look at the Skydivers uh, feature of the new Adventure Pack expansion pack for the PC6 Turbo Porter. So, to get to the new expansion pack features, most of them, uh, we open up the pop-up, go down to the MISC page down here, miscellaneous, and we see a bunch of options. So, we'll just go through these real quick. So, skis, we'll toggle skis on and off for snow operations. Uh, we have big tundra tires for rough field operations, and mud flaps to go with them, and those also work with the normal size tires. Down here we have synthetic vision, a new synthetic vision system for the new G1000, which is included in the expansion pack, but the synthetic vision isn't quite ready yet, so it's still coming soon. That'll be in an update. And then uh, down here we have, we can toggle the windows to be big size windows for skydiving operation, or small size for normal. And finally, the skydiver mode. So these are pretty cool. When you turn on skydiver mode, you get 10 jumpers loaded in the back of your plane. And these also affect the weight and balance. Uh, we can see each jumper is represented by a parachute icon here. And uh, they've moved the CG aft and the weight up a little bit. And we can see if we turn them off, the plane kind of stands up again or settles. And then over here we have the skydiver pop-up panel. So this has several options on it. So stay with plane means when we drop a jumper, we're going to stay in the pilot seat in the pilot's point of view controlling the airplane. Uh, but if we click down here to join skydivers, then when we drop uh, the jumper, the airplane will turn on in a little autopilot to keep itself up in the air, and we'll get to follow the jumper and control them directly, which is really cool. So we also have uh, some other options here. So ID, this is just the number of the jumper, and there are 10 of them, so 1 through 10. And then for each jumper, we have their altitude in feet, vertical speed in feet per minute, their automatic deploy altitude, where they'll deploy the parachute. We have their smoke color, and we can toggle the smoke on and off for individual jumpers by clicking on these, or we can click right below smoke to toggle them all on or all off. So we're going to have them all on to make them easier to see. H is the hue, or the color of the smoke, so we can scroll the mouse wheel to change that. Over here, uh, under the D is density. So this is the smoke density. One is very thick, easy to see, and zero is very, very thin, hard to see. And we can individually change those by scrolling the mouse wheel, or we can scroll the mouse wheel up here again and uh, change them all at once. So we're gonna leave those on dense so that we can see them. And this is an array of buttons to toggle the parachute. So if you want them to deploy their parachute before their automatic deploy altitude, then you can click here for each jumper and that'll deploy their chute. And then finally over here we have a depiction of the wrist altimeter that each jumper would be wearing. And for the currently selected jumper, this altimeter will show their altitude in feet. And uh, right now it's jumper number one. And of course it's showing about zero because because we're on the ground and we're at zero. So let's get up in the air and see some of this in action. So here we are in the cockpit. And uh, if we look back, we see on the, it might be hard to see, but there's a blinking note that says open right rear door to j drop the jumpers. So I can either click on that directly, or I can click here on the door handle, or I could go to the general page and open the door here on the pop-up. But in either way, it's telling us we need to open the door before we can kick those jumpers out. Now the other cool thing, when we loaded the plane, when the plug-in loads, it takes note of where our position is, so right there, and that is the target that the jumpers are going to try to land on. So let's just do this. Uh, we're coming up over it. Yeah, we're just about over the target. So we're on stay with plane, so we're just going to watch it from the plane's point of view. I'm just going to hit spacebar a whole bunch and drop out those 10 jumpers. There they go. As you can see, that smoke uh, kind of traces their, their path down. And now that would make us free to... Ooh, oh, we can see them forming up. We'll see that up close in a sec. Uh, but that leaves us free to disconnect the autopilot and pull that power lever back into beta and do a crazy beta descent. And so there we are. We can kind of see their smoke trail as they're falling down in formation down to their, uh, their starting point. And now that we're a little lower, we can see they've all deployed their parachutes and they're spiraling down over the landing point. And uh, since we're in this PC-6, we've got beta, we can definitely beat them down to the ground which is pretty cool. 
So here we are back in the cockpit again. This time I've selected Join Skydivers, and we see we have some new keyboard shortcuts that are shown across the top here in white. Uh, they might be a little hard to read in the video, so space will deploy the jumper, C and shift C move the camera next and previous, E opens the chute, WSAD lets you control the jumper both in freefall and under the parachute, X toggles smoke, and Q will release those shortcut bindings to let you use the, the normal keys of X-Plane. So, uh, we're just coming over the airport, yeah, we're just over it now, so I'm going to click here to open the right rear door, we see it opens. And uh, I'm just going to hit a uh, spacebar a bunch, and we'll start dropping these guys out. Jump, 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 jump. So this guy. So right now I'm not touching any of the controls, and so this means the AI is going to control this jumper for me. However, if I use D, A, uh, W goes down, S comes back, or I can also use my joystick. Um, yaw or roll for the yaw, and then pitch, pulling back and pushing forward lets me control the altitude. And then again, if I let go, after a few seconds, that AI is gonna take over again. So this uh, lets you control the jumper automatically. And as we're falling, we can see we're coming through uh, 6,000 feet right now. So we're getting pretty close to our parachute deploy altitude. Go to a slightly different view. We can see here, uh, all the jumpers falling in formation straight down onto that point that we started, which is pretty cool. And now they're starting to turn away. They're gonna auto deploy their chutes. There they go. And now, pop, 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 there it goes. Uh, so now, if I hit spacebar, I can control this guy again. So again, hands off, the AI is controlling him. Or if I use D and A, W and S, I can control him manually. And so this way, you can kind of fly down with your fellow parachuters and uh, try to land precisely. So that is a quick look at the Skydivers feature of the new uh, Adventure Pack expansion pack for the PC-6. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going <laughs> to see if I can land right underneath them. We, we see they're going down to the ramp there where we started our flight. Um, anyway, lots to enjoy and lots to explore with that expansion pack. So I really hope you all enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.